first as expected and we'll see their program in just a bit. The Canadians are second and the young Russian team is third. They are first on the ice, two-time world junior champions, Natalia Romanuta and Daniil Baransov. Exotica by Rene Dupierre. One of the requirements, a dance spin. There are two to three dance spins allowed in the free dance. They must rotate at least three revolutions. actually are quite powerful in their form, their speed, and their approach to the requirements. In third, after the original dance, they have a great opportunity with the withdrawal of Kathy Winkler and Renee Losa of Germany to win their first Grand Prix medal. Diagonal footwork must move from corner to corner. They're very busy, the feet are always working, but they didn't quite finish the footwork. They separated right before they got to the wall. is actually quite difficult with the arm holes that they're using. They're just a little separated, skating a bit far apart here. See their hand-to-hand. -hand. That's considered less difficult than if they were closer together. Why do they have required elements in ice dancing? It makes it easier to judge. The judges, because it's such a subjective sport, there aren't jumps and spins to, to measure. It's like, it's like, judging apples and oranges, so <laughs> this gives it a little more credibility as a sport. And that's all in theory, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> send that emotion toward one another, only 19 years old, but what's a bit distracting is their physical, the close, closeness and height is a bit of a distraction. She's five foot eight, he's five foot ten, ideally who are five to six inches shorter, they have more variety in their lifts, somewhat limited in what they're able to do. You need that at least in pair skating <laughs> to be successful. Not more, you're right. But it's unfortunate because they do some really wonderful things together. But see, the lifts are not going to have as much of an impact. Well, they skated this well. Everything was in its place. I enjoyed the emotion. Their speed is quite amazing. Natalia Romanuta and Daniil Baransov of Russia. They're the only team of the top Russian teams that actually train in their home Natalia country. Natalia Romanuta and Daniil Baransov. 
There's a lot of confidence in their posturing. They're both very fast. And here in their circular footwork, watch how he gets some nice extensions right there. Their arms are always moving. Very busy, I would say. One of their opening lifts. A lot of their lifts are sort of at a medium level because of that closeness and height. Here are the marks for technical merit. 4-6, up to 5-2. Well, I think there may have been a big deduction for them not completing the diagonal footwork. They fell short about 6 to 7 feet. And the presentation, 5-1 to 5-3. Well, they're only 19 years old, and their emotion really comes through in the presentation. And 5-2. Thank you. Well, we will be back.